Sometimes the clamps you've got just aren't big enough. That's no problem. You can double up the clamps. This is a real common practice. You never know how big the projects are going to be. You can have an entire wall full of clamps and still not have a clamp big enough. That's where double clamping comes in. We've got a splined joint here, and once we get all the glue on there, we're gonna have to clamp it up for the night. Now you always wanna make sure that you have plenty of glue. If some squeezes out, even better. So these pipe clamps are pretty versatile. You can spin these clamps around in different configurations. So you can see the two ends of the clamps mesh perfectly together. Then go ahead and tighten it up. Now you can readjust it and make sure everything tightens up nice and even. Once you start squeezing everything together, you can go ahead and wipe up some of that excess glue. That'll be less to clean up later. Now we can add another set of clamps to the other end. That way everything's nice and even. Just tighten it up back and forth from each other. You could put it right in the middle and then clamp it to the table to make sure everything stays flat. Then try to let it dry as long as possible. I try to let it dry for at least eight hours. So when you get in a pinch, double clamping. Woodworking's a lot of fun. So if you don't have enough clamps, you work with what you've got. We built this cabinet out of some scrap lumber. It didn't cost much, but it'll do the trick. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.